be incredibly relevant to share an amazing testimony. It's on behalf of Paula Crocom. It was in fact just a message she'd sent me privately and I just felt that it was so weighty and it had such an impact and it was so encouraging that it needed to be shared. And uh, with her permission, unfortunately due to a few time constraints, she said why don't I just go ahead and do it on behalf of her. So I'm honored to be able to do that. And uh, maybe this is just going to be a little shift for you and, and just a tipping point for you in terms of decisions and things that you go ahead with in the future. So what had happened was she was in her lounge and she had a family member close by and a message came through. She looked at the message and she was busy doing something and ordinarily she would have just replied a little bit later. But in that moment she just said, I'm not going to put it off. I'm going to do it now. I'm not going to have the, the stance of, I'll do it tomorrow. I'm going to reply right now. So she picked up her phone and replied. So anyway, a 16 minute voice note later, she completed it and put her phone down. And the family member that was there came through and said, did you have that like written out somewhere? Had you written that down and had you rehearsed it before sharing it on that voice note? So she said, no, I just spoke. I was just, I just shared what I was feeling. So they said, okay, because it sounded like you'd rehearsed it or it was practiced or it was, you know, that, that you was, obviously she just uh, delivered it with such confidence. Paula in fact said that she even had to go back and listen to the message to hear what she said and uh, just proof that she just allowed the Holy Spirit to speak through her, that it was Holy Spirit inspired and she was just allowing herself to be a vessel. But what it took was her harnessing the moment, seizing the moment and just using that as a catalyst and not only was it a blessing to the recipient who then responded to her and told her how much hope she'd given them and, and, and that she just represents so much hope to them but also for the family member who overheard the whole conversation. Isn't that encouraging friends when we just act promptly on the things that happen those kind of Thing, injunctions that come into our life there and if we harness them we don't know the reward that could come of just seizing the moment and not putting it off. Isn't that a great testimony? But in saying that we just also want to acknowledge because we're family we just want to acknowledge Polar today because today the 21st of February 2021 is Polar's birthday. So Polar we just want to wish you all the best on this amazing day. We celebrate you. We celebrate this day because this is the day that your destiny began. You were planned with purpose and created with a calling. And we know that it's only been a couple of years that you've stepped into that and understood that. But my goodness me, you have seized it in the most radical way. Well done for being such a champion of faith. You stand as one who has completely given her heart to Jesus. You're just so besotted with him and uh, in the way you just emulate the fact that he is the lover of your soul, your sweet Jesus, and uh, your relationship with him is truly just such an inspiration to so many. So we bless you today, we celebrate you, and we really trust that it is an amazing day for you.